Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Resident Rise. <laughs> I don't know why my mouse was just being really weird. <laughs> I think that's because of me. Anyways, uh, this is episode number 17. Welcome, 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 guys. Anyways, I don't know why I say anyways a lot. Last episode, we were dealing with Blaze Spawner, which was really a lot of fun. I love this thing. I've upgraded a little bit. I'll explain that whole in just a second. <laughs> I've added this tank here, which is really awesome. It holds all of our XP that we get from it, and we can just drop down through here and get as low to, as get as much as we want. So that's really cool. I don't think we're ever gonna feel that. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, off screen, I've been trying out. Ma trying out make trying to make an enderman spawner gosh that was so hard to get out i was trying to make an enderman spawner i also was trying to make a witch spawner with it and it's working kinda the reason i dug it all the way down the bedrock is because you know with the boss mobs i think the highest boss mob hp is around 225 five it's a lot five <laughs> around 225 which i am finding that even that right the spawner if i can get up there hold on, i have a waypoint i've set it up there because i was getting tired of going all the way up there but if i go up all the way to spawner top it's up here um go drop drop why are you why are you being so rude anyways i set the the two spawners all the way up the build limit like all the way up the build limit it's on 225 or 255 my bad and it goes and i dug this hole all the way down to bedrock which goes all the way down to i think like four five yeah it goes all the way down to five what are you doing down here silly but it goes all the way from 255 all the way down to four and I'm still having problems where those epically powerful boss mobs are living the fall. I don't know why. I've never heard of a mob living a 250 foot drop or 250 block drop. And I'm also having problems where they're hitting the lip. Like I need to expand this a little bit. Um, I used the filler to do this. I didn't do this all by hand. But if you watch, also there's another problem with this. If I can kind of display it right now for you guys. Um, if I leave the area, it, it deal load. It doesn't deal load. That That's the main point. I have a chunk loader. If you see where that magnum torch is at, underneath the magnum torch is a chunk loader. And when I leave the area, it's supposed to stay loaded. But the spawners are acting weird where they're still spawning mobs but they're not dropping and i don't get it the reason that i'm waiting so long is because i'm waiting for them to build up and then they all fall at the exact same time it's a really sight to behold so if i go over here just look at that they just drop all in you <laughs> look at all those they drop all in unison and that isn't just a visual glitch look they're actually dropping they have all the drops still around here. So if I turn on my magnet, which by the way, I'm getting tired of this mag. That's another problem with boss moms. They shoot lightning and webs. I'm getting tired of this magnet because I keep having to refill my blood altar with blood because this magnet uses blood. So that's a thing we're going to be fixing in the future because I really want to get into Botania. Now, hopefully we'll be able to get into that this episode because I really love Botania. Um, so that's a problem. So I don't know... Another problem, boss mobs shoot out webs. I don't know why. You can see them scattered about. I've cleaned up most of them. So if I turn this off, let's go see if anyone's lived down here. We have this guy. See, look at this. His HP is at 7... Wait, what's his HP? It's, it's even going up. Really? That's so weird. But his HP was around 70, and he lived the fall. I don't get it. I don't get why they're able to live a 250-foot drop. But it's a thing. So I'm probably just going to scrap this whole thing, fill it all in, and then set up a grinder. I didn't want to set up grinders because that's what everyone else does. I want to do a fall trap, but apparently it's not going to work. So that's in the future. Anyways, off screen, I, I really wanted to show you something because I've been messing around with node bullying. And if you don't know what node bullying is, it is basically taking different nodes and putting them together inside each other. 
It sounds weird, I know, but that's basically what it is. And I've been creating this cool node. It has all the primal aspects. It's still in the works. And if you're wondering what these torches are, there's there's a torch in this mod pack that is completely brokenly overpowered. I love this torch. And it speeds up the tick rate. I don't know if it works for everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Something was caught in my throat. But I don't know if it works for everything, but it works for these nodes. And it's speeding up the tick rate. If I click on it, it'll speed it up in a 9 by 3 by 9 area. I attempted to go down into the chat. It kept moving. And it also goes up to 400% increase. And I'm pretty sure this stacks. Like, this is amazingly fast. So, yeah, that's the thing. Um, also, last thing I'm going to do in the update. Oh, my God. Come on. Uh, I wanted to show you a node I found. When I was building this area, I found a hungry node. If you don't know what a hungry node is, it's basically a node that sucks. <laughs> really, it really does. See, I'm being pulled towards the node without me touching the keyboard. And what's really cool about this node, it has all five aspects, so I really don't have to do much to it. I'm probably just gonna start feeding it crafting tables like everyone else does. I don't know when I'm gonna get to it, but it's really cool, I really like that node. Also, it won't suck through bedrock. I'm not bedrock. It won't. Well, of course, it won't suck through bedrock, but it won't suck through obsidian. That's the reason I have obsidian around it. I'll probably end up moving it because it's relative. It's really close to our, our Hall of Fame, and I don't want it to be sucking away at the Hall of Fame. That would suck, literally. So, um, oh, one last thing. I made two more drives worth the 64 Ks because we were getting completely overdone with all of our stuff that's coming in. I've been ore processing, setting up ore processing for all of our ores, for the new ores that we're getting from the twilight. The quarry is still going. We're still doing good on power. Our power's still going. Um, yeah, but uh, we have over 2 million stone. We have 600,000, yeah, we have all that. And if we go to ingots, we have 50 million silver. Apparently silver is being processed right now. We have tons of other ores. Aura claws or ingots. We have mana infused ingots. We have ori calcum. Really cool ores that are coming in. That's really, really cool. Oh! I found a friend. I don't know where he came from, but he's here now. We have a new pet chicken. Another pet. <laughs> I got a cat because I was getting lonely while doing my uh, Thumbcraft stuff, and I named him Tango Down. If you know the reference, no, it's not a reference to the movie. But it's not a reference to the war movie. If you know the the Black Hawk Down, you know Tango Down, kind of thing about that. Anyways, it's a reference to an old series that I love watching. If you guys know the reference, put it down in the comments. I love that. I love. I love that dude. He's so cool. Anyways, to what we're gonna be doing today, because that was the longest intro ever. Uh, I really want to get into Britannia. If we look at our flowers, we have tons of flowers, which is really cool. And so the first thing we're gonna be doing is we need a petal apothecary. So if we look up petal. Petal Apothecary. Sweet. So let's go to the actual one that's, you know, useful. Get our petal. Make a Petal Apothecary. Bam, bam. Can't be stopped. Sweet. So we got our Petal Apothecary. No, this is not permanent. I'm just keeping it for now. Um, the first thing we're going to need is a water bucket. Number one, make sure you have your water bucket. It has to be on the hot bar. <laughs> we're going to need seeds. Uh, if you guys know Batania and you're yelling at the screen, stop showing me this. But I wanted to show those people who've never done Batania. I'm sorry. So we go to flower. <laughs> uh, we grab our cool flowers. And we're going to need several light ones. Because we're going to be making something called a pure daisy. And if we grab our Batania book. Which I don't. Where is it? Botania book. So wait, we have two of them for some reason. We grab our Batania book. We got a cool achievement. Yay, fireworks. Still need to turn that off. Yeah, that's annoying. Anyways, uh, we're gonna need to make a day balloon. No, not a day balloon, a pure daisy. Which is somewhere. I know how to make a pure daisy. But to make a pure daisy, all you have to do is take four of these bad boys, just drop them, Q, 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 Q. Drop them a seed, bam, pure daisy. And something I love about these pure daisies is they can turn, well, what they do do, that's not something I like that they do, they do do this, they turn regular stone, if I can place this right, give me that back, 
They turn regular st oh. I need a piece of dirt. You know what? Give me this. Let's move this. I don't like it here. Bad. Incorrect. Incorrect. I don't like it here. Uh if we grab you know what? This is this is fine. Give me no I can't. Uh, give give me. Thank you. So if we grab one more time. Dirt here. Pure daisy here. Stone all around it. It'll start emitting these white particle effects with it, and it looks really cool. And what this stuff is going to turn into, it's going to turn into something called living rock. And we're going to be needing that for Batania. So if we go back down here, we're going to need to make an infinite well. Uh, I don't... What's going to... What's an infinite well in this bot pack? Uh, spring? Spring? No? I'll find it off screen. But if we I'm gonna need to make more of these because this this mod I love it to death But it's just like all the other mods. They're grindy. So if we grab another one. We're gonna need to make uh, something else We're gonna have to take wood I'm gonna use oak wood because that's what I think you have to use. I don't well I don't think you have to use oak wood. I just like using oak wood We're gonna need another piece of dirt. Give me you Swear it into me. Thank you. We're gonna set this right here put the pure days. No incorrect no, anchor, give me you. Go into the ground. Better, aced it, nailed it, can't be stopped. I keep taking that from, I don't mean to copy people, but some people have really funny sayings and I really like using them. Um, but yeah, these things take a little while, and take a little while, Valentine, help yourself. And what they'll do, just like this, it'll turn stone into living rock and it will turn any kind of wood, of course I'm using oak wood, into living wood. And if you mine this up, which is really cool, because you can mine stuff in Minecraft. Did you know that? <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to need a lot of this. Like, a lot, a lot of this. I usually make a bunch, even though, you know, I never use it all, but you're going to be needing this for crafting. So, let's go ahead. We're going to need to make a diluted mana pool, which is going to house our mana stuff and things. So if we place, we really need a botany area. I don't want to get too comfortable in here. Give me this. Um, I don't like that cave either. Um, do I have a shovel? How do I not have a shovel? Where's my shovel? There's my shovel. There's my spade, as the Britons call it. I don't know if that's really what they call it. I always, I always hear people call these things spades. And it's not a spade, it's a shovel. If you guys call it spades, let me know. Uh, I even I used to watch British YouTubers sometimes, and they would call it spades, and then I would start calling it spades. So that's a thing. <laughs> Anyways, off topic, put this down. It's nothing right now, but what we're going to need to make next is we're going to need, need to make... Gosh, I'm having a seizure. We're going to need to make... Oh, look, you made a living room. That's a cool texture. I think they changed that texture. I don't remember it looking like that. Um, we're gonna need to make something called uh, a day balloon. Yes. Okay, guys, I'm really sorry about that. If you guys did not know, apparently if your hard drive fills up, DX Toyer will just stop recording <laughs> on a dime. So uh, I'm sorry about that. But anyways, let's get back to what we we're doing. <laughs> I had already made a day balloon off screen because I completely I didn't notice that it stopped recording. So it, it was really easy to make a day balloon. It was just, uh, I don't feel like find, finding it, but it was just like, it was two yellow petals, a light blue petal, and a orange petal. And what that's going to do is it's going to generate mana in the day, which is really cool. And we're going to need a way to move the mana. So I've already prepped and started making a mana spreader. And the way the mana spreader works is if you put it on top, oh, well, that'll work. If you put it on anywhere near this thing, the uh, the day balloon will squirt its mana into the mana spreader, which will then put it into the diluted mana pool, which is really cool. And the way that we can see this is we're going to need a type of wand. Now, I'm pretty sure it's called a wand of the forest. If I'm not mistaken, yes it is. Now, we got to figure out what color we're going to use. So to make, we're going to need these two things, which means we're going to need more living wood. And how much wood, living wood do I have? Do I have any in here? Living. 
No, I don't. Oh, do we have any over here? We do. I really need to make an axe because I don't have an axe. I've been going through here and just kind of manually mining it like this. Which does get old after a while, so let's go. Two of these. And, huh? and let's make... We're going to... Oh, I keep... I switched out these terminals. And I keep forgetting to move them back. And I always click on that bottom one. So let's go ahead and grab... Oh, that only makes one now? <laughs> so we're going to have to go grab more. Because I think we need three. So let's grab two more. I hate it when they change recipes. Why do they change recipes? Uh, this used to give me... I think this used to give like two sticks. Like every single type. Like, you know, with wood. So let's go back over here. Let's see, I did it again. <laughs> and bam. And I think what we're just going to do is I have... Oh, give me my twigs back. Twig. No, stick. Where'd they go? They were just... They, living wood twig. Living... Why? Okay. I think I'm, I'm going to use orange and white. Uh, one of my friends is going to hate that, but I really usually use orange and white for this. So, if we hold this in our hand, we can see the mana being squirted. And if we do this, we got to right click here and right click here. And then that will bind that flower to this mana spreader. And if we right click the mana spreader, right click the thingy majigger. And binding mode, not function mode. There we go. And you can see it was pointed towards the mana pool. So whenever this thing decides to make mana, this thing will start accept this thing will start accepting the mana and putting it in here. Now, I am gonna go ahead and tell you this thing is slow as molasses. This is the slowest form of mana manipulation or mana generation. So off screen, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making a better area for this, and I'm gonna be making a bunch of those and a bunch of other flowers to start making more mana, because the things I want to get into and Batania, for instance, I really, really want to get into those baubles. I love their baubles. Their baubles are really cool. So if we find Batania again, I clicked out of this because I was searching for something. Botania. Botania. There we go. Um, I really like that they integrated all of the <laughs> Brismarine stuff in here. I really want to start making those sea lanterns. Those sea lanterns. <laughs> I really like the sea lanterns. Uh, yeah, I really love their armor. I can't wait till we get to do that. But I really want to get into these baubles. They have their own bubble of magnetism. Doesn't require anything, that like energy or anything. You just wear it and it's a magnet. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff. I really love their, I really love how they did their mod. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check the time of the video. Because we are, I feel like we're running long. <laughs> I'm going to go check the time of the video. I'm going to be continuing doing a little bit more grindy stuff on Botanic. Because like every other mod, it is very, very grindy. So, once I get that all together... I'll see you in a bit, guys. <laughs> see you in a bit, guys. Alright, welcome back, guys. Okay, I've done some stuff off screen. I leveled out this area, and I've started installing some of our Batania stuff. Don't worry, it's I know it's plain right now, but I plan on putting trees and stuff here. And making some hills and stuff with some fountains. So it's going to look really cool. Uh, it's just in the <laughs> it's just in the process right now. I haven't made very much left in the Batania, like the actual mana, like the, man the mana manipulation and generation I just I still have my lo my only little flower but it's going it's going I've also upgraded our diluted mana pool into a regular mana pool the only the way that you do that is you just take a diluted mana pool stick it in a diluted mana pool that has mana in it and it'll turn into a mana pool so yeah I still have the diluted mana pool my old one over there also off screen I have installed these bad boys which are really really cool um, the way that they work is that they have their respective thing on the bottom. It has wood on the bottom, and this one has stone on the bottom, and it makes it really, really easy to place because then I can just use the builder's wand to build these up, which makes that really, really cool. So I use uh, the way I think it uses about a stack and a little bit uh, per harvest, so that's really, really awesome. Also, off screen, I made this thing called a reservoir. And I learned of this just by looking on the internet. Um, what it is, it's the 2x2x1 two by two by area of just this, of reservoirs. They weren't really that difficult to make. If I look it up, I have it right here. Um, it is this one right here. It's just, it's really easy. It's got fused cords and then some regular glass and then, you know, a cauldron. That's not that, oh, frame. It's not that difficult and it's an infinite water source, which is really cool. If you take out a bucket, um, I don't know if I can simulate a bucket. But uh, it, it fills itself back up. It's really, really cool. 
But yeah, that's all. That's all I've done off screen. I need to start doing more mana stuff. That's probably what I'm going to be doing. So yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you <laughs> you guys know, I, I I this is finals week. You know, it's really hectic for me. So if you notice during the video that I'm kind of out of it, it's because I really am out of it. <laughs> it's really, really, it's a really, really stressful week for me. But I'm going to get videos out for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. You know I love making them. It, it this these videos are really released for me because, you know, <laughs> this it's really stressful right now. But oh well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. You know I love making them. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy. Comment, favorite, subscribe. <laughs> and yeah, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go start studying again. I'll see you guys later. Bye.